Five. What is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and I am coming at you guys today because we got some very, some monsters from the past that we're gonna be talking about um in this video. So I don't know if you guys remember this monster, this Princess Cologne. If you remember her, well then you should also remember the card that associates with her, the Box of Friends. Or well, I'm sorry, Box of Friends. Well, Box of Friends in Princess Cologne are part of another archetype called the Cologne Monsters. Cologne Dolls. And the Cologne Dolls, for the most part, will be coming to the OCG in their Premium Pack 21. Now, the crazy thing about this overall is that this is going to fit into an amazing story about dolls and magic and kind of gives you a remembrance of Pinocchio. So, I'm going to actually start with the old monster cards, just to give you guys a bit of a refresher on them. So, this is Box of Friends. It's a level 1 light attribute machine type effect monster with zero attack and defense. Its effects reads, if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can still summon from your deck two normal monsters with different names who attack or defense is zero. And face up defense position. You can only use this effect of Box of Friends once per turn. Monsters special summoned by this card's effect cannot be used for a synchro summon, and they also are destroyed during your next end phase. Then, the monster herself, Princess Cologne. Uh, this is a level, this is a link, this is a rank 4 light attribute fairy type monster with 500 attack and 2200 defense. Requires 2 level 4 monsters. When this card is exceed some, you can target one box of friends in your graveyard. It's just summon that target. If you control another monster, your opponent cannot target this card with, a car, this card with cards, effects, or 4 attack. Um, if a face up normal monster or monsters you control is destroyed by by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can attach one material from this card, then target this special summon one normal monster from your deck or grave and face up defense position. Uh, those booty cards came out of number hunters here in the TCG and I believe in the OCG. Uh, they were part of Collector's Pack Zexel version. Um, she was. Ultra and what is it? Collector's Rare, which I believe is a variation of Secret. Um, and then here in the TCG, she was released in Number Hunters. I believe Box of Friends was the only one out of the two that got reprinted twice. Uh, for here in the TCG, it was reprinted in the Advent Calendar. Um, I can't believe it's been seven years, actually, since both of these cards were released. So now, seven years later, we have some more of these cards. And funny fact, uh, these cards are in the manga. And there are some more support cards as well that I'm pretty sure a lot of people cannot wait to see what goes through this. And just before I go into them, just remember one thing about Yu-Gi-Oh. No matter how cute the card is, there's a lot of devastation that card can create. So, first off is uh, the monster, monster, wait, doll monster, Mrs. Machine, known in the LCG as doll monster, girl Chan. Uh, she's a level 4 light attribute fairy type monster with zero attack and defense. And her flavor text reads, Welcome to our home, Cologne, Papa Demetto, and a lot of other dolls live here. Then we have the normal monster, uh, doll monster Bear Bear, known in the OCG as doll monster uh, Kumacha. No, Kumachi. This is a level 4 wind attribute beast type normal monster with zero attack and defense. And its flavor text reads, even if we are so roughed up we're nearly broke. We, oh, we nearly break. It's okay. Papa Gemetto will fix us right up. Then we have the monster Pop, uh, Grandpa Gepetto. Uh, I mean, Demietto, who is based off of Geppetto, if that wasn't kind of already given. Um, in OCG, he's known as Demetto Gison. He's a level 1 dark attribute spellcaster type monster with zero attack and defense. And his effect reads, you only use each of this card's names first and second effect once per turn. Um... When you detach the material from your Princess Cologne, you start summon up to two normal monsters with zero attack or defense from your graveyard as level 8 dark attributed monsters. Okay. 
Um, if, if your exceed monster activates an effect by detaching a material or materials from it that were originally normal monsters, you can target an exceed monster and one monster your opponent controls. Destroy your most on its monster, and if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to that exceed monster's rank times 300. Mmm. And then we have the spell card Doll Happiness. Uh, you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. Uh, when this card resolves, you can add one po one Grandpa Dimietto or a box of friends from your deck to your hand. Monsters you control cannot target. Monster, yeah, monsters your opponent controls cannot target your monsters with zero attack or defense for attacks while print while you control Princess Cologne. Once a, once a turn, uh, you can target you can destroy one monster you control in your hand, and if you do, send one doll monster card from your deck or graveyard. I mean, from your deck to the graveyard. Also, you can touch the summon. You cannot you uh, you can't touch summon monsters. From your action for the rest of the turn, except for exceed monster. Sorry about about those words. Um, but yeah, this this is pretty much a Konami variation of Pinocchio, in um other weird variation of you know magical dolls being created. Um, kind of gives you an impression that Madolce was is similar to this as well. Where if I'm not mistaken, they're magical dolls. I mean, they're dolls that are brought to life by magic. So. Yeah, that cutesy thing can be a thing. And I am sure there are tons of monsters with zero attack and defense that are normal monsters that can be very abused by Prince by the Cologne uh doll archetype. Because that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it Cologne Doll Archetype. And wow, this is really good for a good bounce back. Like, even though these normal monsters are, are here, they're normal monsters. You can do as much as you want with them. You can fit in beaters, you can fit in walls. The thing about it is that Geppetto is gonna turn monsters into level eight dark monsters. So, get out those very big, dark, rank eight monsters, or those, whatever rank eight you can possibly find, because this is gonna break that. This, this is going to be real good for that speedy rank into stuff like um, Felgrand. You can go in. You know a lot of stuff with this. This, this is going to be some. I can see this being used in a lot of things. You know, this is just, yeah, this is going to be real good. Um, then what else is it? This, this. The spell, yeah, this spell is going to break some things as well. It's actually that whole, you can destroy a card you control or in your hand, and then send a doll monster from your deck to the graveyard. Then such a summon, um, not only able to such a summon the key monsters, but that's perfectly fine, because you can ex react your deck, but that's perfectly fine, because guess what? There's so many different exceed plays you can play that it's bananas. Like, this is awesome. This is a really good start for a comeback for Cologne and her doll. So, let me know what you guys think of the new support cards and um, what interesting stuff can you come up with that will feature these support cards. So, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you guys can be informed of when I do uh, upload more content. Thanks everybody for watching and I will catch you all next time. HPJ signing out. Take care.